everyone welcome to my youtube channel Ravella design today i'm gonna show you how we are going to make these beautiful crochet fingerless gloves crochet hand warmers wrist warmers how you call them it is amazing dear friends i really loved it also love the co color combination the pattern is so easy dear friends even the beginners can easily make them by carefully watching my videos till uh, till the end i made this only one grain square and one grain square turn into a beautiful fingerless gloves okay dear friends let's go on how to make this meanwhile please remember to subscribe my youtube channel activate the info bell please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos thank you so much again dear friends let's go on how to make this we need five different uh, cotton colors for this project dear friends let me show you one two three four and five and later on we are repeating the same colors of course you are free to choose any color you like meanwhile you can use this kind of scrap yarns at your home because we don't need uh, much yarn for each color and we need three millimeters hook for this project we are starting from the center dear friends i will start by making magic ring i am taking my pink color in my hand and I am starting by making magic ring. I am doing magic ring like this, keeping this, turning, keeping this place like this. And then I am making three chains, one, two, and three. Yarn over. I am inserting my hook in here. making a double crochet yarn over inserting my hook in the ring and making another double crochet i am considering the first three chains as the first double crochet now we have three double crochet in the ring now i am making two chains one and two yarn over inserting my hook in the ring yarn over pull through and making a double crochet making another double crochet and making the third double crochet second block is finished making two chains yarn over inserting my hook in the ring and making three double crochet making two chains and making three double crochet more this is one this is two and this is three making two chains let's look what we did one two three and four block we made and we made two chains now i am keeping this yarn end and pulling like this after making two chains i am inserting my hook at top of the three chains here yarn over pull through making a slip stitch making one chain and now we can cut the yarn for now we finished with this pink color now we are on the second row i will go on with brown color this one I'm taking my brown color in my hand and we are starting in any corner. I'm not uh, preferring to start where I finish because uh, the knots will come one upon another and it will not look good. For this reason, I'm preferring any corner. I 
I'm making three chains, one, two, and three. Yarn over. I am making two double crochet and I'm considering these three chains as the first double crochet. This is two and this is three. We made one block, one chain. I am going to the other space and making a block one two and three making two chains inserting our hook in this same space and making three more double crochet making one chain in the sides we are making one chain, in the corners we are making two chains, dear friends. I am going to the other corner, making three double crochet firstly, two chains, making three double crochet more in the same corner space. making one chain going to the other corner making three double crochet making two chains making three more double crochet this is one this is two and this is three one chain yarn over we made one block when starting now i will make the second block in the same starting corner and then also in this corner there will be two uh, blocks i am making three double crochet in this place one two and three two chains and I am inserting my hook at top of the three double crochet that we made by starting like this making a slip stitch I am making one chain now we are finished with this color for now the second row is finished dear friends we are in the third row we are going to go on with this orange color yes dear friends we are on the third row and I'm starting any space any corner I'm choosing this corner I'm not starting the corner that I am um, finished that I cut the yarn because there is a knot here and I don't want the knots to come upon another I explained to you the reason in the previous row I am taking my orange color in my hand. First of all, I am fixing the yarn. Three chains, one, two, three. I am considering these three chains as the first double crochet. So I am making two more double crochet. This is one. This is two. It's been a block now. I'm making one chain and going to the side making three double crochet in here dear friends when starting I'm not making the two blocks in the corner I am coming to the end and making the second block of the starting space uh, when finishing dear friends I am doing this in order to have a um, good look uh, when finishing I am making one chain since we are in the sides in the side spaces we are making one chain now I am going to the corner I am making three chains this is one this is two and this is three since I am in the corner, I am making two chains and making three more double crochet. 
one two and three this corner is finished since we are in the sides i'm making one chain going to this space and making three double crochet in here this is one this is two and this is three making one chain going to the corner and making three double crochet one two and three making two chains and in the same corner space we are making three double crochet it's been two and three one chain going to the space here making three double crochet this is one this is two and this is three making one chain going to the corner making three double crochet one two and three two chains one two and we are making three double crochet this is one this is two and this is three one chain going to this space making three double crochet one two and three one chain going to the center making one block in this corner and we are completing the second block of this corner like this making two chains inserting my hook at top of these three chains like this making a slip stitch making one chain and cutting the yarn we finished the third row dear friends later on i will clean these yarn ends for now i don't want to spend uh, my time with these let's finish this square firstly now we finished the third row we are on the fourth row one two three rows we finished we are going on with this green color i'm taking my green color in my hand and i'm starting in any corner i'm choosing this corner one two and three making a double crochet making another double crochet and making one chain going to the space making three double crochet this is one this is two and this is three making one chain going to the other space making three double crochet in this space one chain in the sides we are always making one chain and in the corner we are making two chains dear friends now i am making three double crochet this is two and this is three making two chains and three more double crochet this is one this is two and this is three one chain one two and three one chain 
inserting my hook in this space making three double crochet one chain coming to the corner making three double crochet two chains and making three double crochet making one chain going to this space and making three double crochet yes dear friends like this we are completing this row repeating what I did uh, what I explained here let's finish this row by coming to the end dear friends I came to the end let me show you once again what we are doing we are making one chain inserting our hook in the corner with, uh, that we start and we are making a block in here and we are completing the second block of this first corner making two chains one two inserting our hook at top of the first three chains yarn over pull through making a slip stitch making one chain and cutting the yarn we finished the fourth row now we are going to go on with this uh, color dear friends yellow color I'm taking my yellow color in my hand I'm starting any corner and starting by fixing the yarn making three chains one two and three making two double crochet considering the first three chains it's now three double crochet and finish this block making one chain going to the space making three double crochet in the space one two three making one chain yarn over going to the following space in the sides we are always making one uh, chain between the blocks dear friends but in the corners we are always making two chains we made this block making one chain going to this space and making three double crochet making one chain going to the corner and making three block two chains and three double crochet one chain going to the following space and making a block in here with three double crochets this is two and this is three one chain dear friends it's going on like this till the end of the row let's finish this row in the same place what we did here let's come here dear friends I came to the end of the row I am making one chain inserting my hook in the place I started and making three double crochet in there for the second block of this corner two and three making two chains inserting our hook at top of the three chains slip stitch making one chain and cutting the yarn 
one two three four five rows we finished dear friends from now on we will repeat uh, the color term we are going to go on with pink color brown orange green and yellow and we will finish with brown color yes dear friends from now on let's let's go on uh, one turn with all the colors one upon another and then let's finish this square i finished the square i made totally 10 rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now we are going to make the last row i mean the brown color and then while crocheting the brown brown color we are going to attach both sides and it will be wearable after finishing the uh, adding the both sides to each other i will show you how we are going to make this first of all we are starting crocheting with a uh, brown color i'm taking my brown color in my hand and i'm starting any corner i will start any corner from here for example i'm inserting my hook in the center of the corner uh, this time I will make full corner you will remember normally when I make uh, the other rows I'm when I start I make only one block and then I go around all the sides I come here I make the second one make two chains and I'm finishing the row but this time since I need the corner while adding the both sides to each other I need the center for this reason I am starting with full corner one two three chains making two double crochet it's now three considering the first three chains now making two chains making three double crochet yes the corner is finished making one chain going to the following stitch making a block like this we are coming to the corner dear friends I came to the end of this row I will make my normal corner standard full corner I'm making first of all making three double crochet two chains and three more double crochet in the same corner space yes dear friends we finished this uh, side totally now we are also going to make till here when you when we come to the corner i will show you how we are going to add the both sides let's come to the corner first of all yes i came to the end of this side as well in the corner i made one block only now i'm going to show you how i am going to add them to each other first of all uh, we are making one block in the corner like this and then making one chain and we are adding the both sides i'm inserting my hook in the corner of the other side making a single stitch making one chain yarn over i am going to the center again and making one block I'm making one chain going to the space that I'm going to add making a single stitch yarn over going to the new row that I crochet making a block in here one chain going to the place that I'm going to add make a single stitch yarn over 
going to the place that I'm going to crochet and making three double crochet in here. And I am trying it on my hand, dear friends. This is for my right hand. One, two blocks I added. What we did here, one block and we have to add also this one. Making one chain, going to the place I will add, yarn over, coming to the space that I will make three double crochet, one, two and three. Once again I'm wearing, yes dear friends, like this, it's beautiful. From now on, we are going to leave space for the finger, for the thumb. One, two, three blocks. As you see, three blocks we are going to leave for the finger. For this reason, three blocks I'm not going to crochet. What we are doing, we are making standard double crochet, not adding. three blocks one two and three now we are uh, going on adding we leave the finger side space now we are going to go on adding making one chain one two three four uh, blocks left one two three four yarn over Making one chain, going to the place I will add yarn over. One chain. One chain going to the other place. One chain again. And now I am coming to the corner making one block firstly making one chain now i will show you how we are going to add these uh, two parts for the last time uh, i made one chain and now uh, i need the space for this reason when starting i made uh, i start with full corner because i need this space while adding making one more chain because in the corners we are making totally two chains and making one block in the corner dear friends we finished adding from now on we are going to make uh, only uh, granny stitch strip i make one chain going to the space making three double crochet making one chain yarn over going to the following space and making three more double crochet in there this time we are not adding anything we are just going around with making blocks and spaces and we are coming 
to the end of the row dear friends I finish crocheting this row by not adding I am at the end I am making one chain and we are closing this row by inserting our hook at top of the first three chains yarn over pull through making a slip stitch but I'm not cutting the yarn because we are going to ma make the last border I came to the end of the row dear friends I made single stitches now I'm going to found the border on this first of all I'm inserting my hook in the place I start single stitches making a slip stitch and finishing totally now I am making one chain going to the other single stitch making one single stitch upon this going to the other stitch making one single stitch going to the following stitch making one more single stitch and now I'm making three chains one two and three in the front of these three chains there are front loops here I mean this this loops I am taking this on the hook and yarn over pull through making a slip stitch yes this is the border this is a tiny border going to the following stitch making a single stitch one two and three single stitches one by one we are making three single stitches and after that three chains one two three and we are inserting our hook through the front loops there are two loops as you see on the hook yarn over pull through making a slip stitch now going to the following stitch making three single stitches one by one this is one this is two this is three three chains one two three and taking these front loops on the hook yarn over pull through keeping this and making the border now three single stitches one two three three chains one two three taking the front two loops on the hook like this yarn over pull through slip stitch like this uh, we are finishing this row dear friends we are making this pattern all around this row I, I came to the end of this row now I'm inserting my hook in the place I start yarn over pull through making a slip stitch making one chain and cutting the yarn dear friends we are doing the same pattern in the finger side and also uh, in the other side uh, first of all we are making single stitch all around and then founding this uh, border pattern on these single stitches and we are doing the same thing for the other side as well let's finish the glove as I explained to you dear friends yes I finished all the borders now I am turning back because we have to clean the yarn uh, yarn ends actually um, we could do this uh, before adding the sides to each other I forgot it let's start from the center dear friends you know uh, in the center we started with a uh, magic ring if we don't uh, make knot uh, in the bottom it will get large and it will not good I'm pulling it again once again and I am making two or three knots in this middle in order to fix well 
when you start with magic rings it is important to fix uh, later on otherwise it gets large again it is too long I am cutting in order to hide the yarn ends I am taking a small size hook in my hand I am hiding this yarn end with the help of the small size like this I am inserting my hook through the stages Taking this yarn end as if crocheting, doing the same thing once again. And once again. It is okay. Now I am cutting the yarn end. We are fixing the center like this, dear friends. Now I will show you once again how we are going to hide the yarn ends. For example, this one. Which color we are going to hide? We are using these stitches. For example, I am hiding this orange color, so I am hiding uh, this yarn end between the orange stitches. Otherwise, the stitches will not be invisible. They will be visible. So it will not good. I am turning back. I am turning to the other side um, in order to fix well. I am doing the same thing to the opposite side. If we do this, I am leaving some stitch. And cutting the last yarn end. Yes, we are hiding the yarn ends like this, dear friends. Uh, as I explained to you, you can make this before adding the both uh, sides to each other. Okay, let's uh, hide all the yarn ends. Let's clean all the yarn ends and let's finish this project, these gloves, dear friends. I cleaned all the pieces. You see, there are no yarn ends anywhere. These are the back sides, dear friends. Now I am turning. Again, like this. I'm turning the other side as well. Yes, they look like this. Very beautiful. Let me wear it for you. I really loved it. Also, I love the color, color combination, dear friends. Yes, it is finished, dear friends. Thank you so much for watching this video till now. We came to the end of another project. I will go and sharing this kind of video tutorials in my future videos. Please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info bell. Please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos. Thank you so much, dear friends. See you in the coming videos.